Police personnel can now perform their duties and responsibilities effectively at the Bedilly Police Station in Port Moresby. This follows the launch of the modern Bedilly Police Station today, housing new art facilities, a new single barracks and a new jail block. The refurbishment costs 2.7 million kina. It was jointly funded by the Australian Government and Moresby South District. UPNG journalism student Prisca Kahlo reports. Many people turned out to witness the launch of the modern Badili police station. Minister for Sports and member for Mosby South Justin Chechenko, including officers from Australian Federal Police and the Royal Papua New Guinea Constabulary were also there. Mr. Chechenko told the launch, the establishment of the new police station will help police personnel to carry out their work effectively. As a member for Mosby South, it's very important for me to ensure that we work closely with the police and their hierarchy to ensure that law and order is number one priority in our communities. He thanked the Australian government for committing the funds towards the station's refurbishment. He also thanked the Australian Federal Police for making sure work on the new look Badili Police Station is completed. The Australian Federal Police um, are a bonus and an asset uh, to Papua New Guinea. Their work enhances the work of our Papua New Guinea police force. Work began earlier this year and was completed just this month. The modern Badili police station is air-conditioned and equipped with all necessary office fittings. The refurbished police station also has a well-constructed jail block. A new single barracks was constructed along with the office. The barracks can accommodate more than 40 policemen and women. The new modern Badili Barracks was officially launched by the member for Mosby South, Justin Chachenko, and representatives from the Australian Federal Police and Royal Papua New Guinea Constabulary. Priska Kahlo, NBC National News, Port Mosby.